Ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a piping hot cup of coffee in your hand right now because we have a beautiful, they call it like a Spucknik chandelier pendant light, but you're not gonna wanna miss this video. This is by the company Pia Rico, and just like all my videos, top link in the description box below will be this exact same light where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself. So. We're probably gonna have to change over cameras and unbox this bad boy, but it is adjustable. You can either draw it down long, shorten it up, and this is gonna be absolutely stunning in my remodel of my home. Let's go ahead and begin. It does say no knife, but I'm gonna be very, very careful. You just obviously don't wanna dig in too far, but let's get this guy on open here. So we got a little instructions here and nicely packaged as well. Even if you did cut that in, you still have a nice piece of cardboard there, but be very careful. Very nicely packaged. Bubble wrap all throughout the light, and let's get this out. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna unpackage this, but firstly, let me show you a few little parts here. This is gonna be, obviously, what goes on your ceiling here, on your drywall. Kind of a brass gold look to it. You got all your hardware here, your screws, all your knickknacks to install this. This is your little bracket and your grounding screw there. You got nut caps, electrical caps, etc. Now, if you are wondering, this does not come with any bulbs, but I will show you the bulbs that I do recommend. And once again, look in the description box below for the precise measurements because you can make this super long as these all attach together. So you can drop it down really long from a tall ceiling if you really wanted to. Now I'm probably gonna use like probably half of one. So this actually unscrews one of these. Only one of these unscrews halfway. And I think I'm only gonna use one of these because I want it dropped down very little because my ceilings aren't too terribly high. So again, adjustable. Here your ground, your black. And so obviously there's a couple different options you can do. The easiest thing would be if you feel like you're gonna install this later down the road and on new property, because obviously the cabling is super long for the adjustment. What you could do obviously is you could just cut the wires, strip them back a little bit, or this is pretty deep through here. You could wrap those wires around here and install it that way if you feel like you're ever gonna move properties and you potentially need all that wiring later down the road. All right, this is Bria, my puppy. She's my helper today. Anyway, I do wanna show you this. So I'm only gonna be using that one half right here, right? So the wires need to go through that and however many pieces you want here. Now try not to lose this little protective piece here. This just protects the wires from inside, etc. Then you come through it this way out the top here with your wiring here, and I'll go ahead and cord management that inside there. Now this little piece right here, actually moves for your vaulted ceilings so that you could have it at an angle and it still dangles straight. Let me show you that example. Like this here, this is the unremodeled portion of the house. So I have a pitched roof right here. And so what that does is kind of like that one over there, the pitched roof, you angle it so it's straight, even though it's capped up to the roof at an angle, it will dangle straight. Now these are the bulbs that I recommend. I will have these linked in the description box below. These are LED Edison light bulbs. These are six watt, but again, I'll have those linked in the description box below the light here. That looks absolutely stunning. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like without the bulbs and then with the bulbs here. Again, I only use that half piece because my ceiling is actually less than eight feet. As you can see, my beautiful pup is enjoying the look of it here. Let's get some color shots here. Beautiful, again, gold brass look to it. Looks really sharp with my accent wall, my bed, and my beautiful pup. That just literally turned my bedroom into something very, very good looking. And the reason, again, I like that is because it doesn't droop down too low. That's still a great look and a great focal point for the room. Alrighty, folks, that looks absolutely amazing. These are the yellow bulbs, six watt, and they have a very slight little tint to them, which actually matches the look of the light. And I think it absolutely looks fantastic there. Obviously, it adds some more 
more inches and a little bit more dynamic to it, especially with those bulbs. If you're gonna go for a light like this, definitely invest a little bit more into some good bulbs. Again, those will be linked below. Now, this will probably be the permanent location, but I actually have to pull this down and mount this where I actually have electricity. I did myself a disfavor when I remodeled this room. I only have one light switch, which goes to my pot lights, recess lights. I did wire this for a potential fan later down the road, but I could wire it so that light switch turns on all the lights, but I kind of want just this one on or the other ones, just those on. If this does become the permanent location, I'll go ahead and just leave it as is just for kind of a more of a decorative piece, but it hangs down just beautifully here. Again, not too much and not flat up against the ceiling as well. That's very, very sharp looking here. That would also be a great feature just with that half piece of tubing. For a bathroom like this, if you didn't have your vent fan right there, you could put your light right above the bathroom as people are doing that above their freestanding tub as well. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and rewire this with electricity. We'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with all those bulbs lit up. Alrighty folks, there we go on the vaulted ceiling, looking absolutely fantastic, putting off beautiful, beautiful light. As you can see with those yellow six watt bulbs, Absolutely stunning here. Now again, this is the unfinished portion of the house. I'm gonna have to uh, put a skim coat on that popcorn ceiling. But again, with all the bulbs lit up, let's come back around this way here. Looking absolutely fantastic. Take a look at that, huh? Again, those Edison bulbs are gorgeous. Get yourself some high-end bulbs. Again, that will be linked in the description box below. A very nice, pristine, elegant look to it. Stunning. Very stunning. Once again, top link in the description box below will be this exact same Sputnik pendant chandelier light. Just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything I do make a video about, but if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on the way out, helps the channel, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you on the next video. Once again, top link in the description box below. We'll see you on the next one.